Well, hi everybody, it's me again, Judy. Um, I'm just here to talk about Drop It today. So, um, Drop It's a pretty important cue to teach your dog because they're always picking up something random, right? Um, especially puppies and young dogs that don't know any better yet. Um, you can see already, he's my dog Bucky is more interested in this croissant toy. This is his favorite. Um, he's more interested in this than this other toy, but I know that they're of similar enough value that these are actually a good pair of toys to practice this with and demonstrate with. So I'm going to let him, I know he wants to play with this croissant, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him have it. So I'm going to toss it. Go get it. Good oh boy. Good job, buddy. So drop it. So I say drop it. Good boy. Go drop it. Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. He actually didn't go get the fox. He went to, um, ugh, excuse me. He just went to get the croissant again. So um, I picked up the croissant and I don't want to give it back to him until he's taking care of the fox. And go, boy, go get it. Good boy, good job. Okay, drop it. Good boy, so he just dropped it. Okay, now I can throw the croissant. No, go get the croissant. So he's, he's trying to figure out this game right now. Right now, he wants whatever I have, which is okay. Um, what you have to do in this case is you have to go get the other toy and you get them interested in that. Again, go get the croissant. I'll go get it. This is like the dog version of FOMO, right? He wants whatever I have. Um, or the grass is always greener. Okay, so I wanted him to get the croissant a minute ago, so this is what I'm gonna give him and what I'm gonna get him interested in. Go get it. Good boy, buddy, good boy. Okay, drop it. Good job, buddy, good boy. So I'm gonna take that croissant, and it's hard to see, I know, but I just hit it under my leg. I want him to go get, it. go get the fox. No, uh-uh. He's trying to get the croissant. So he's got to figure out this game. But so far, he's actually doing the important thing. He's dropping whatever item um, I want him to drop. He's just still interested in whatever I have because he's a weirdo. Um, so, so just trading out toys, getting him interested in something different. Um, I can bank on one fact with my dog, and that is that he would rather be interacting with me than um, just like playing on his own with a toy, right? So, good boy. Um, so I can bank on that. Not everyone can. Some dogs aren't that into toys. Um, they just steal random items, and that's the only time you can practice drop it. And that's actually okay, because a lot of the things your dog is stealing, you could actually give back to them. Um, this, is, this is the breakdown of how we practice drop it, um, and how it doesn't translate into reality of a dog dropping things they're not supposed Right. Oh, they'll drop their toys all day long. They'll drop their ball for me and whatever, but they won't drop um, my socks or, um, you know, whatever. So uh, the breakdown is that you have to treat it the same way as you do when you're playing. When you're playing with them, what do you do? You act happy. Good boy. You got it. Yay. Good job. You act happy. You give it back to them over and over and over. You do this. And your dog learns pretty quickly the difference between when it's got something it's not supposed to have, because what do we do? We sound and act completely different if it's something off limits. Um, like if they have a pair of socks, I'll just, that's such a common example. Um, so yeah, if they have a pair of socks, for example, um, instead of just saying, oh, a pair of socks, okay, drop it, and trading them for a treat or another toy, um, or, you know, in giving it back at all, we certainly won't give your socks back, but you should actually give them back, honestly. Um, make it, uh, make it so that it's not a forbidden item. Dogs have a lot of the similar psychological principles people do. The second you tell a human that something is forbidden and they can't have it, what do they want to do? They want that item. Um, it, you see it all the time and you see it with dogs too. So making those things not necessarily off limits, but something you can play that game with of drop it, drop it, drop it, trading for treats, trading for other toys, having fun with it, and then, okay, game over, and put the socks away and give your dog something else to do.
um, or take your dog for a walk or something like that, something really rewarding so that they're not worried about the fact that they just dropped the socks and now they're bored in the house, in the house bored. Um, <laughs> so, so that's a lot of the problem with drop it is that you're not bridging the way that you practice it. Um, like I was saying, that happy, cheerful attitude toward it, toward, you know, you see that your dog has a toy, you don't say, drop it. No, you can't, don't, give that back, get over here. You don't treat it that way, right? My dog is like, what are you saying, Judy? <laughs> Go get it. Oh boy. Um, you, you never treat it that way when it's a sanctioned item, they know they're going to get back, right? But the second they have that pair of socks, that's exactly how you sound. Dogs aren't stupid. They learn those patterns so easily. They're like little pattern learners. Um, so just make sure that even when they have those um, items that they're not supposed to, that you are um, really trying to give it back every time. Of course there are things you should not give back. Things that, um, if your dog is a gulper and just like ingests whatever it has within five seconds, yeah, don't give things back to that dog. That, that's dangerous, but that's a little bit of a different situation. Um, or if the item is really a dangerous item for the dog to have and it might have to go to the vet because of it. Um, but it's a judgment call a lot of the time. And most of the time, honestly, you're gonna be able to give it back. A pair of socks, um, your dog isn't just gonna swallow them. If they do, it's a different story. Some dogs do that, but most dogs don't. The dogs that do have learned that they have to eat it or else they will have to give it up. Um, so just thinking about those little principles and that should help your dog to drop things in real situations. Um, if your dog is a resource guarder, then um, definitely reach out for help um, from a qualified behavior specialist like me. Um, I have a lot of experience with that kind of thing. so. It's something you have to treat with caution and um, have a like full-fledged behavior plan going on. So, um, so make sure you reach out for help if you need help with that, or if you have any questions, you can let me know. My website and the way to contact me is in the details of this video. Happy training!